The Reason for Perfect Penetration, Volume 4, Chapter 2. Sutra Pana, you also asked whether the natures of water and fire would not destroy each other if the natures of earth, water, fire, and wind were all perfectly fused and pervaded the Dharma realm, and whether subtle emptiness and the great earth would not be incompatible if both pervaded the Dharma realm. Commentary Pana, you also asked whether the natures of water and fire would not destroy each other if the natures of earth, water, fire, and wind were all perfectly fused and pervaded the Dharma realm. You say, whether there's water, there can't be fire, and where there's fire, there can't be water. The natures of water and fire are not compatible. You should know that water, fire, and every other thing has a nature. Also, it may not be capable of thought. But you can't see this nature with the ordinary flesh eyes. When it's already become fire, we can see it. But before it becomes fire, there is still a nature there. The same is true of water. Its nature is contained within the Dharma realm. It pervades the Dharma realm. By use of the sun, you can obtain fire. And by use of the moon, you can obtain water because the nature of those elements exists in emptiness. You see emptiness as empty, but it is actually replete with all appearances. And emptiness is just the Dharma realm. Puna doubts, however, that the nature of both fire and water can pervade the Dharma realm. Puna, you also wonder whether subtle emptiness and the great earth would not be incapable, incompatible if both pervaded the Dharma realm. Emptiness is emptiness, you reason, and if there is emptiness, there shouldn't be earth. The earth is a solid object, so there shouldn't be any emptiness where it is. If emptiness pervades the Dharma realm, earth shouldn't. If earth pervades the Dharma realm, the emptiness shouldn't. The Buddha reiterates the Purna's doubt. Sutra, for example, Purna, the sub substance of emptiness is not the mantra of things, and yet it does not prevent the inclusion of all appearances within it. Commentary, there is an analogy to explain this principle. Purna, for example, Purna, the substance of emptiness, is not the mantra of things, and yet it does not prevent the inclusion of all appearances within it. It is basically empty of anything, but though its own substance has no appearance, whatever, it does not oppose a natural arising of all things. Sutra, do you know the reason why? Pona, the empty space is bright on a sunny day and dark. When the sky is cloudy, it moves when the wind rises up. It is fresh when the sky clears. It is turbid and hazy when the weather is full. It is obscure when the storm breaks out. It casts a bright reflection on a pool of clear water. Commentary Do you know the reason why? Pona, the empty space is bright on a sunny day and dark when the sky is cloudy. It moves when the wind rises up. It is fresh when the sky clears. This refers to the time right after a rain when everything is sparkling clean. It is turbid and hazy when the weather is full. It is obscure when a dust storm breaks out. If it casts a bright reflection on a pool of clear water. So in the great boat, there are no appearances. But the appearances are allowed to appear at will with no resistance on the part of emptiness. The same thing occurs in the treasury of the first command, which is also basically devoid of appearances. And yet the seven elements, the five skandhas, the six sense organs, the twelve places and the eighteen realms are all in the treasury of the first command, and it does not resist the arising of those appearances. Sutra, why do you think of these conditions which come into existence at different places? Are they created from these conditions themselves, or do they find their origin in emptiness? 
if they arise from those conditions Purna, then on a sunny day, since the sun is bright, all the walls of the ten divisions should take the form of the sun. Then how does it happen on a sunny day one still sees the round sun in the sky? If emptiness is bright, emptiness itself should shine. How does it happen that when there is a covering of clouds and fog, there is no light in evidence? Commentary. Per now, what is your opinion about this? What do you think of these conditions which come into existence at different places? Are they created from these conditions themselves, or do they find their origin in emptiness? If they arise from those conditions, per now, if the seven appearances arise of themselves, then let's take the sun as an example. On a sunny day, since the sun is bright, all the worlds of the ten directions should take the form of the sun. All the lands and countries should look like the sun and have the ability to shine. Then how does it happen on a sunny day one still sees the round sun in the sky? Moreover, if emptiness is bright, emptiness itself should shine. If the light is not produced from the sun but from emptiness, then emptiness should be innately bright. How does it happen that when there is a covering of clouds and fog, there is no light in evidence? Emptiness doesn't give off light or have the ability to shine. Sutra, you should know that brightness is not the sun, is not emptiness and is not other than the emptiness and the sun. Commentary, you should know prana, that the function of brightness is not the sun, it doesn't necessarily come from the sun nor does it necessarily come from emptiness, but it's also the case that it doesn't necessarily not come from emptiness and the sun. It is not other than they. Ultimately, where does it come from? It comes from the nature of the treasury of the first common. Sutra, the truly wonderful enlightened brightness is the same way. If your karma finds expression in emptiness, then emptiness will appear. If your karma finds expression in one or another of earth, water, fire, or wind, that one will appear. If your karma finds expression in them all, they will all appear. Commentary The truly wonderful enlightened brightness, the pure nature and bright substance of the everlasting true mind, is the same way. If your karma finds expression in emptiness, then emptiness will appear. If your karma finds expression in one or another of earth, water, fire, or wind, that one will appear. If you have created the causes to bring about one or another of the elements of earth, water, fire, or wind, then the element you have created will appear. If your karma finds expression in them all, they will all appear. If you create them simultaneously, then they simultaneously appear. For instance, a person might obtain fire from the sun and water from a pond at the same time. Sutra, how can they all appear? Suppose per another sun's reflection appears in a single body of water, and two people gaze at it both at the same time. Then one person walks east and the other walks west. Each person still looking in the water will see a sun go along with him one to the east, one to the west, seemingly without there being any fixed direction for the movement of the sun's direction. Commentary, how can they all appear? Suppose, Pona, the sun's reflection appears in a single body of water, and two people gaze at it both at the same time. If the water is clear, the sun's reflection can appear in it. The people see a single reflection of the sun in the water, then one person walks east and the other walks west. Each person still looking in the water will see a sun go along with him, one to the east, one to the west. When the two stood together, they saw one sun. When they parted, there were two suns, one accompanying each of them, seemingly without there being any fixed direction for the movement of the sun's reflection. Which is true then, which is false, these two suns appear unexpectedly. No one anticipated there 
would be more one would be more than one. So try you shouldn't belabor the question and say if there is one sun, how can it follow both people? Since the sun is double, why does only one appear in the sky? This is just to revolve a falseness because it cannot be proved. Commentary You shouldn't start arguing to the point and belabor the question and say if there is one sun, how can it follow both people? Since the sun is double, why does only one appear in the sky? To get caught up like this is just to revolve in falseness because it cannot be proved. There's no foundation in fact. You may say it's one, but how can it follow both people? You may want to say it's two, but basically there isn't even one. How could there be two? Even though one is empty and false, so the whole argument is baseless.